Hello girls and boys. Does this not just look like a crazy Friday or more like a messy Friday? How exciting is this? Today we're going to make a squishy. A nice squishy for you to play with. And you're going to make it yourself. And when you've learned how to make this one, you'll be able to make any, drawing anything you want to. And you use the same idea on how to do it. And you'll be able to make squishies out of drawing a car or a bear or a fairy, whatever it is you want to do. But today we're doing a honey pot. Because what is Winnie the Pooh's favorite? Honey. Where the messy part comes in is all this paper. I took a magazine that I had read or my mom had read. So I took the magazine and I tore out about six pages out of the magazine. And I cut them up on the side into long thin strips. Can you see there? That's the side of one page and up we went. And I cut them all up and this is about the pile I got from the six pages. And this is what I used when I made this one. But he feels a bit empty in places. So I would maybe use a bit more than six pages. Maybe ten pages that we're going to put inside. And make it more fat and squishy. Doesn't it sound nice? Right, but on this one, I have filled it with this. I'm going to make exactly the same one and try and fill it with a packet that I've got at the supermarket after I bought my groceries. And I don't want to litter plastic and I haven't recycled these. I'm going to use two and I'm going to see if I can put them inside our squishy. Let me tidy up here. So boys and girls, I've taken an A4 piece of paper and I folded it in half. I'm going to put the bottom, the folded side towards me and the open side to the top. And on the bottom of the paper is where I'm going to start my honey jar. I'm going to just draw a little line going around at the bottom, on this side and on this side. So that'll be the bottom of my honey jar. Then I'm going to go out around as like a circle. And I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to bring it straight because the jar has, must have an opening. So we'll go straight across the top. There we go. And I'm going to come round to the bottom where we said it's going to go round. Please, I'm Snore, my naughty, naughty dog. He wants to say hello. And I've said to him, it's not your time to say hello. The boys and girls are drawing a honey pot. So I'm drawing the bottom. And along here, I'm going to draw two lines. And I'm curving it. There we go, to the side. And that's where I'm going to write honey. At the top, can you see there's the honey in the pot? We need it round. So this is the top of our pot. It's going to come around to the side and into there. And that we're going to draw yellow for the honey in the top. So here's our honey in the pot and as we were having honey and Winnie the Pooh was having some honey, his honey ran over. Can you see it running down his pot? All this delicious, delicious honey. I hope he's going to mop it up or eat it all up and not let it go to waste. So now... What are we going to do, boys and girls? We're going to color this one in, in brown and orange and brown and yellow. And then it will look just like this. Right. So, boys and girls, when we've colored it in, we've had our honey on the top. 
we've got our pot colored in the colors we want it to be i've gone and taken the black liner and i've gone around the edges you can use your black wax crown you can use your black pencil if you like or you can go around the edges in the same color as what you've colored it in and now we're going to write what is in our pot honey so we're going to write this pot has got honey there we go because Winnie the Pooh loves his honey there we go boys and girls what we're going to do now is remember this is your folded line we're going to cut this out but not the fold we're going to leave this piece we're going to cut the rest out so we're going to go around the bottom and we're going to cut it out quickly so boys and girls when you've cut it out you're going to turn it around and you're going to draw the exact same two lines that you've got here across the back because this is the back so we're doing two lines around we're in our bottom part and the rest so all we're going to do is our brown orange brown in coloring in and darker brown for our base so let's color that in quickly so boys and girls we've colored in the back just plain and we've decorated the front what we're going to do now is to put our squishy together no sorry about this dog all he wants to do is say hello right what we're going to do boys and girls just give me one minute there they are boys and girls they want to say hello to you that's peanut and this noisy one is biscuit see he's saying hello hello what are you doing and how are you girls and boys wagging his tail away so boys and girls why you can see a reflection on our video is i'm working on a piece of plastic this is just a piece of see-through plastic i bought something and the plastic was i think on top of the box and then i keep it i've got a smaller piece that i've kept off um a book i bought and the front had plastic any pieces of plastic that i have i always keep them for working on for the arts we're going to need plastic underneath i could also use my cutting mat or my drawing mat i draw on i could also use my kitchen counter because things don't stick to that to find a spot that mommy and daddy says it's okay that you can use so that you don't um, make a mess but we're going to need to work on that because we're going to need to pull up what we're going to do we're now going to look and find our cellar tape which is also clear tape or a sticky tape i always call it sticky tape because it's so sticky so what i'm going to do i'm going to take my tape i've got it in a roll and i'm going to pull a piece off mine my little roll thing isn't very sharp or doesn't like to work so i'll cut it and i'm going to put the tape from the bottom here of our pot over the sides and just gently on this plastic not hard we're not going to press it down hard because we don't want it stuck to here we're just going to put it down gently but we'll press it on the actual paper so this won't take that much and i hope you've got tape at home for covering all your books and i just went to the crazy store and i bought some so it wasn't too expensive and there we go i put some so i'm going to overlap it girls and boys each one i put is going to overlap the last one so i'm going to continue and do this all the way to the top so it's overlapping and I'm pressing it on the paper but there will be no paper every piece will be my tape so there we go boys and girls I've done it from the bottom to the top but I've stopped at the edge I haven't let it go over remember it was folded down at the bottom I'm going to just pull it off the plastic and now these edges I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to fold them in to the back 
see my long edges of tape I'm just folding it onto the back there we go nice and flat now at the back I'm going to put more tape but I don't have to make long pieces I'm just now immediately going to fold it over just that there's no paper sticking out because my tape's already going from the back to the from the front into the back here so just where I can feel and see I've got paper I'm going to cover it and I'm just going to cut it off until the whole thing is full so boys and girls my front is done can you see it's now nice and shiny I'm going to take this plastic away because we don't need it now and then it's not going to be all shiny there we go so I've used the tape and my pair of scissors so everywhere here it's got tape and at the back if you've got that broad um, elastic um, cellar tape or packing tape you can use that as well might go quicker so on my first one this one remember I told you I used these strips of paper and I put them all into the hole on the top remember we haven't closed our hole we've got a nice hole here so for this one I'm going to take my plastic bag I'm going to crumple it as tight as I can in a ball and I'm going to open the top of my squishy and I'm going to gently gently with my finger take it in slowly 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 and look at that can you see I've got a nice fatter one it's more squishy but can you believe how much this can take that's one bag and I've still got a big hole inside so I'm going to take my second bag and I'm going to roll it up into a nice ball and I'm going to make it a tighter ball because I'm going to see if I can fit it inside this one without breaking it so would you believe it boys and girls I've got my packets in here my second packet I took and I made it into a ball and I just cut this little piece off because all the rest fitted inside. Then I checked the sides to see nothing was coming out. If there was a little hole, I put more sellotape just over the side where there was a hole. And I gently pressed the paper all along so that this whole honey pot is full for a squishy. Now I'm going to close the top and yeah, you can ask somebody to help you to hold it for you or to tape the top closed for you because it's very full so I have my piece of sellotape here and I'm going to take it along the top I don't know if you can see it but I've got it to the top here I've put half on here and half in the air let's see if I do this if you can see it I don't think so and I'm going to curl it over the top I'm going to seal my hole closed all the way along the top all the way along the side close it nicely I'm going to run it down the edge and I'm going to pinch it closed and if I'm a bit worried about the top I think I'll take a second piece and I'm going to put that on top just to make sure that it's not going to open because at the back here it looks like it's bulging and I'm going to bring it to the front again and I'm going to press it down and boys and girls there's our honey pot all squishy we now have a squishy to play with so we had a squishy filled with paper it would work just as well just put more paper in that it's nice and fat this one has got two packets in and this is really nice and squishy so you can draw anything you like boys and girls and use this method where it's folded on the line you have a back and a front that your color in to your picture cover it with the cellar tape remember to use the plastic so that it doesn't stick to a surface and bring the tape around tape the back and here you have your squishy 
So what a lovely week we've had. We've got Winnie on Monday who loves to eat his honey. And he asked for a friend to come along. And there we have Piglet. What a lovely week this was. Boys and girls, have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed doing these over the weekend. And I would love to hear how many squishes you made and of all the different pictures you used to make them. Have a great, safe, blessed weekend.